Oh, the snow ducks are out here again. It's 45 freaking degrees out here today. 45 here in North Carolina. It's cold. It's cold. Uh, I'm going to clip in right now. Uh, before and after of my strut positions on this boat, I have a neutral strut position. Perfectly neutral. I'll cut in. Neutral, all right, last time we were out, I had some down angle. I think that down angle was picking the back of the boat up, pushing the bow down. With the forward-ish CG and the props I'm running, it was like plowing. So let's see, let's see what it does now. I got, I kind of got some high hopes, all right. Kind of got some high hopes. Then we'll grab the ultrasonic missile and uh, see what it does on 6S. Looking a little bit better. Yep, still doing its thing. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, it looks better though. It definitely looks better. It's a heavy boat, and I think I'm just going to have to kind of deal with it. It's heavy. Yeah, it looks a lot better. So we could kind of do some fine tuning. It's Really got to do the fine tuning with this boat on the bench. I can't really do it out here, you know, with the struts. And I think what I might do is fill in the, the water exits. I put them in the tunnel. I'm going to fill those in and put the exits on the side so I can move my C, CG back a little bit more with the ESCs. Yeah, it's definitely running better. Definitely running better. And uh, like I mentioned in the last video, I think these props have a lot to do with its performance. That hop right there, I think that's from the props. It's got to be. They're wanting to lift a little bit too much. I actually had a couple guys in the comments agree with me. But uh, I know where the boat's at now. I know what I need to do. Um, I was going to put some 16 16s on, but I think I'm just going to wait. Like I said, I'm kind of cold. and Well, it's not. I'm not cold. just don't feel like doing it, to be honest with you. We'll do it on the next run. Oy! just wanted to see what the boat was doing today you know just wanted to see what she was doing just kind of flipped I gave it a full trigger blip there okay so I got some tape coming up so while I'm getting this taped up I gotta dry it off no big deal uh, Nick one of my viewers actually sent this um, package to me he actually 3d prints these GNSS performance analyzer cases and I've seen quite a few of these cases printed but none of them have a seal can you guys see that I don't run GNSS at the moment so uh, I'm planning on getting one here shortly but this has an, uh, a gasket a little o-ring around the perimeter of the box and it locks it's 3d printed and he has these available i'll uh, include a link in the description take check the description if you guys are are interested in this product it's actually super nice it's durable uh pretty sure you could probably countersink a couple of uh like two millimeter screws and through bolt it on your boat or just tape it onto your hatch but it's completely waterproof so you really don't have to to worry about water getting to your GNSS. Uh, this is for the boaters, you know. I guess I guess the bashers or speed run guys could use this as well. Uh, it'll keep dust out, you know. But um, pretty nice, printed in uh, PLA, I guess. Uh, Nick, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, check the description if you guys are interested in the little GNSS waterproof, watertight box. Pretty pretty sweet, brother. I appreciate it. Boat gang, you guys are awesome. Back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, we're taped back up, ready to roll again. Yeah, Nick, thanks for that GNSS box, dude. That's freaking awesome. Um, definitely going to get a GNSS for it. Uh, I lost my last one. 
in a sonic weight crash. I had it taped to my hatch and my hatch cracked in half and lost the genesis. <laughs> I definitely think it's uh, running better. I, I'm not hitting full throttle with it. It's maybe half. That's about half right there. So it's going to be a pretty quick boat once I get her tuned in. You guys know I'll get her tuned up. Yeah, that prop's causing too much lift in the back. I see it now. So if I can get a prop that has a little bit of bow lift, we might be we might be in good shape or no lift at all. Like an ABC prop, they don't have much lift, you know, depending on what you're running or whatnot and how you balance it. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. 45 degrees out here, I'll take it. All right, so let's see how it does in a turn here. Let's just see how it does in a turn. I was taking it easy, I didn't want to flip it. Kind of a medium speed turn. Hopping in the turn. That ain't bad. Could be better. It definitely could be better. Yeah, I've been taking my time with this build and tuning the boat. I hadn't had it out in about four or five days. Third time out with this thing. Just take some time, you know. Uh, I had it on the bench for like two of those five days, um, messing with the trim, getting the trim set up where I want it, getting some CG set up. All right, so uh, we'll bring her in, check our temps. Probably not gonna be cold at all or hot. <laughs> Ooh, it's the only thing about running in the cool weather, boy. Oh, fingers get cold. You would think my toes would get cold wearing flip-flops 365 days a year or when I can get, a, get away with it, I guess I should say. No smoke? Okay. All right. So my temps here, 70, 67, 78, 66, 73, 78 is the highest. The batteries, which are, by the way, are 4S, uh, the ESC 73. All right, where the wires are, 73. Running 100C, 1300 CNHL. All right, 4S packs, 36, 14 prop, three blade. Okay, so I was gonna run the Miss Geico 24 for you guys in this video, but I didn't hit play on my camera. So I'm out there running my MG24, which by the way, ran flawlessly, just as flat. I put a new strut adjustment on it and it was running flat as hell uh yeah 70 mile an hour in the little pond with the miss geico 24 <laughs> of course i didn't match play i'm bummed out about that damn it was booking on 6s but um yeah i'm gonna finish the video up here um so what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna change the props out next that's what i'm gonna do i'm trying to narrow down that kind of uh you know wanting to kind of i don't know dance chine walk type deal i didn't think a twin motor would kind of chine walk but it looks like it is i know it's not but it looks like it is so it's i'm gonna i'm gonna call it dancing just for lack of a better term i'm gonna change the props out see how that does i originally was wanting to go ahead and remove the the exits put the exits on the side fill these two holes in so i can move my esc back okay. i want to also move my servo back so um i think i'm going to try the props first because i don't want to do too many things trying to like pinpoint uh, uh, a performance characteristic i don't want to do too many things at one time so change the props see how it handles because it actually handled pretty good today uh and if that don't help it because i think these have too much lift we're gonna remove the nipples servo move it all back about an inch that should get my CG back, and I'll be able to play around with battery center gravity once I get all that main CG back. So uh, that's the plan. Trying new props and 
moving stuff back. Uh, there's the little tunnel hole working on. All right, got her. Got the sides, got the bottom on. I've got my my foam cut for the end of sponsons. We're about to epoxy it, working on the cowling there. And big shout out to the boat gang for the for the heavy duty waterproof GNS performance analyzer case. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. If I don't talk to you before, or see you before the holiday, Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for watching. Big B, what I include RC.